I'm sorry, the building's closed. Huh? The building's closed. The building's closed. The building's closed. Okay, what's this judge and mate turn in? That is the barbecue contest that's going on right now. And I can't let people in here because they're judging. Oh, so where do we go eat? Over there. Thank you. That's what we need to know. Appreciate it. So we go to your house for dessert? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lettuce, please. 
I thought was good. Uh, number two, um, this, the uh, sauce or seasoning on top, to me, tasted a little more burnt. Uh, I, just my opinion on the flavor, uh, the tenderness was fine. Presentation was a little bit uneven on it. I uh, didn't seem as uniform, a little rough in places. Uh, number three, was uh, I thought was okay. Uh, it had uh, I think it was the one that was a little bit too tender that was falling off the bone. I didn't write that down, but it was, I believe it was number three. Um, and the um, sauce was pretty good, pretty good. Uh, number four, the uh, I thought presentation was good and um, tenderness was good, flavor was good, and also on number five, the same. I actually like five the best. Okay, thank you. Uh, all presentations were done excellent. I thought the cooks did great. Um, I would say there were just some very minor differences between them, um, between taste and texture. Number one, I thought the sauce was excellent overall, nice balance between the, um, the saltiness and the sweetness. Um, wasn't overbearing, wasn't too spicy. I enjoyed it. I thought the texture was done, the, the meat was done, the skin didn't fall off. Uh, number two, I uh, thought it was just a little bit overdone this, um, as far as sauce. Uh, the presentation was a little bit uneven, uh, but overall excellent. You can see the bite marks uh, on my piece. Um, tenderness was, was right on, uh, just maybe a little overdone on the sauce side. Number three, uh, the sauce was uh, very tasteful, sweet, with a hint of uh, hotness at the end, a uh, little fruitiness. I enjoyed that sauce the best. Uh, excellent texture and taste um, and tenderness. Number four, uh, I thought they did a good job, nice texture. Would have liked a little more pop or pizzazz on the spiciness or the sauce. Um, and number five, uh, again, excellent texture. Uh, did a great job with um, cooking it perfectly. I just thought the um, it was a little bit salty, but uh, the taste could have had a little more wow factor on that one also. Okay. You're up. All right, my first entry, appearance looked great. The uh, tenderness was dead on. The, uh, the taste, I thought, was great. It uh, had a, a little salt, but um, it had a nice, sweet, balanced taste to it. Uh, entry two, uh, we apparently got too much fire to it. It did partake a kind of burnt taste to it. Uh, which which hurt hurt me on the tenderness was good. Uh, number three, I thought the appearance was great. The uh, tenderness was dead on. The uh, taste good. Uh, number number four, um, appearance was great. The uh, tenderness was dead on. The spice, I usually like a good you know tangy hot spice on chicken. But really, this kind of overwhelmed me. It was so, uh, so, so, uh, so, so hot. <laughs> My stink. Uh, number five, parents great, tenderness good, uh, taste very good. Okay. Uh, an overall assessment, I would have to say my least favorite was the one that got scorched or whatever. But anyway, too much fire to me. Uh, I thought number one to me had the best taste. I can't uh, tell. There's nothing left. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, it's all gone. The, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the sauce on it really complimented the meat. And, uh, 
Yeah, I kind of like that best. I don't know if you can't tell. But <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone. <laughs> okay. uh, generally, uh, one, three, four, and five all had a similar profile. Uh, number one was excellent. Uh, I liked the, the taste of the sauce. Just didn't have a lot of heat to it. Uh, number two, I agree that uh, it had a little too much fire. I tasted something that was in the smoker, something that just didn't belong there. Uh, number three, I thought was excellent. The taste was just dead on. It had a nice little after taste of uh, heat at the end, which was really nice. Uh, the tenderness uh, was dead on, uh, bite through. Uh, skin just very nice. Uh, number four, very similar to number three, but a little more uh, fire at the end. And uh, the first bite I took, the skin bit right off, but then the second bite, the, uh, I, I got the whole skin with it. But I, you're not supposed to judge on that. Uh, number five, I enjoyed. I thought it was maybe a little underdone, and I thought the taste was just a little plain. It didn't have the, um, it had a nice flavor, but it just, nothing that said wow to me. Uh, number two, the skin was uh, quite rubbery also. But overall, all very good. I like number three. You're running on me. Can you get that off right there? Where? You see that right there? Second rib from your... This right here? See that sticking off the end right there? Off the end of the rib? That? Right there. Okay. There. Right there. <laughs> we are open. Whew, that's a skinny lid. I know it is. Taylor, did you see the um, umbrella that was in the Trailblazer? The red and blue one? No? Okay. You got a big piece right there, but just okay. leave it alone. Okay, uh, my favorite rib was number two. The only thing that I felt like that uh, was off on it was actually too much sauce. Uh, my worst rib was number three. The flavor wasn't there. It was extremely tough, and you couldn't hardly get it off the bone. Okay. Uh, my favorites, I've got... Uh, well, it's, it's actually a tie, the first one and the fifth one. Uh, I had a good clean bite through those. Um, a little bit dry on the first one. The uh, fifth one um, was fairly moist. My least favorite is the third one. Uh, had kind of a citrusy uh, taste to it, and it was uh, undercooked quite a bit. And my favorite was number two. It was a uh, well-balanced taste. <clears throat> number one was also very good, perfectly cooked. My least favorite was number three. It was the vinegary based, uh, but it was it was a good flavor to the vinegar, but the, the spice was not right. My favorite was number two. It was very tender and it had a very nice flavor. And number five had was not quite as tender, but there was a lot of heat at the end, so it was good as well. For me, tough call among several, but number two is my favorite. I like the tenderness of that because of the way a bite just pulls that bite away from the bone. And the taste, uh, not too hot, not too sweet, just for me, just right, and I could taste the meat as well. Well, I'm going to go against the trend. I like number four. I thought that number two was overdone. 
and my least favorite was number three. Uh, it was underdone and very tough. Uh, the first one was probably my favorite. Um, the last two were uh, fairly dry, but had some flavor to it. Um, overall, though, it was some good pork. Very good pork. All but two were excellent. I would agree that number one, the first one was better than the others, um, but uh, overall they were above average. The first one was my favorite. The um, third one was kind of stringy and dry. The fourth one tasted too much like the wood. I still had the aftertaste in my mouth and it was too dry. Number one had a good flavor. Number two, I had two opposite meats. One was um, nice and flavorful, but the second one was um, overcooked. My favorites were actually number three and number five. They were moist and flavorful and tender. And my fourth one was a little bit um, chewy. All of the entries seem to be uh, changing up uh, in the appearance uh, with chunk, sliced, uh, the money muscle, and pulled uh, in all in one box. And then uh, got one entry, number two, which had a very good smoked flavor to it. Uh, there again, when you get to another entry, it, it was really over smoked. But all in all, the pork entries were very good. Okay. Um, Number one was, I think, the best, and two was good also, but number one was had good flavor, it was tender. Uh, number four was dry and tough, in my opinion, very dry. Okay. Oh, me too. Okay. I, I, I thought one was pretty good. Number two was really good, except it had just a little too much salt. Number three was acceptable and good. Number four was dry. And number five, a uh, little crunchy and a, sort of a fruit flavor, but it was good. Uh, for me, number two was the best. Uh, I found it very tender, uh, pulled apart uh, as you would expect, had a good taste to it. Number five for me was the one that got the lowest score. Uh, I had a lot of grainy gristle on the outside that it was difficult to chew. I was very impressed with some of the brisket entries that we got here today. One and two seem to be the uh, top dogs as far as I'm concerned here. Number five was probably my least favorite. It um, had an unusual taste to it and a, a bit mushy whenever I bit into it. Um, my favorite was number one. It had a, a great brisket flavor, and uh, it was absolutely at perfect tenderness. Uh, number five of my least favorite, it had uh, what I call a typical uh, nasty brisket flavor. Um, I felt that number one was a well-rounded, well-blended uh, brisket. Number two had a bit too much salt. Number three was very bland. Number four was just dry, and number five really kind of tasted like apple cider vinegar and just had a pithy taste to it that, that wasn't good.
Thank mm-hmm. you.